what is going on guys inferno shard one for the win here so I have I have a video that I was going to be discussing about the Xbox one X and the PlayStation 4 Pro and all this stuff and some information about each of the two systems so if you guys were going to get an upgrade from your original Xbox one or original PS4 or if those of you that are still on last generation of consoles and you want the best for your next gen well the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro is actually going to be definitely worth it but some of the stuff that I want to go over with about the difference in between the two consoles is that the Xbox One X is going to be a little bit more of a power console of a powerful console than what the PlayStation 4 Pro is but the PlayStation 4 Pro is probably going to be your best choice but here's here's the reasons of why and here's some information about the systems so the Xbox One X is supposed to be a complete 4k console in Microsoft's mind and it's really really not because most of the games are still running at 1080p so it is definitely not a hundred percent of a 4k console now games like Skyrim uh, first party games like Gears of War 4 Halo 5 and Minecraft all of those games have been confirmed for the Xbox One X to run in 4k but games that aren't like this game of course there's also the Call of Duty franchise none of those and I think even Red Dead Redemption 2 is is not but it hasn't even came out yet so we don't know if Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be in 4k I would probably have to say that Rockstar were probably allowed to be in 4k on the Xbox One X and probably the PS4 Pro too but the games that aren't running in 4K that they do not have on the list, they're actually staying at 1080p. Now this is the bad news for the Xbox One X compared to the PS4 Pro. Now while on the other hand, the PlayStation 4 Pro is actually a 4K system, but the games run at native 4K like the first party games like Uncharted 4 and Horizon Zero Dawn they are not as good as the games on the Xbox One X uh, their first party games in 4K they actually look better but here's why the PS4 Pro would be a little bit better than the Xbox One X now the other games including this one and the Call of Duty series and all the other games that they haven't been talking about that's not in 4K and that is not in 4K the games playing on the PS4 Pro will not be at 1080p like the games that aren't 4K are not going to be at standard 1080p now I know that the, you're probably like what in the world because the games aren't running at 1080p that aren't in 4K for the PS4 Pro now here's a little bit of another hint so the PlayStation 4 Pro actually has a better you know of like upgrading your games even the ones that aren't in 4K because like I said most of the games that aren't in 4K that are available for the Xbox One and that would play on the Xbox One X would only be at standard 1080p while the games that aren't 4k on the PlayStation 4 Pro will not be at 1080p they will be at 1440p now tell me how much better that that is so you're still getting 4k for the first party games and whatever ones else for the PlayStation 4 Pro but the games that aren't at 10 that aren't at 4k 
they'll be at 4 1440p instead of 1080p while games on the Xbox One X that aren't 4K they're actually standard 1080p so yeah that was one thing that I was wanting to like share with you guys about and let you guys know so if you guys are you know thinking about getting an upgrade from your original PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or those of you that are trying to get off the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 and you're trying to figure out what console to buy if you want the best in graphics for sure a hundred percent your best choice is to get either the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X mostly the PS4 Pro now like I said the games that are first party on the PS4 Pro are not going to be as much as good as the games at first party for the Xbox One X running in 4K but would you rather have 4K games but not as quite as good as the Xbox and still have all your old games higher than 1080p or would you rather have the most in the first party or whatever games that Microsoft has for 4K and play all the original games that you currently own just in standard 1080p and you would pay for $500 instead of $400 for this system. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would probably go with the PS4 Pro probably more because, I mean, it would still be a 4K... It's still a 4K compatible gaming system. It may not be, like I said, as good as the Xbox One X's games running in 4K, but it will still be 4K and, like I said, the most of your older games like this one and the Call of Duty series and all that that will actually be at 1440p now those of you 1080p users there that you'll still just see a very very slight difference in the graphics if you are a 1080p owner and you still get the console so but if you have a 4k TV like me mine's not an HDR TV or nothing but it's just a standard 4k but if you have a 4K TV, you'll see a little bit, quite of a bit, probably better of looking games and stuff if you get the system. So, so yeah, I just like wanted to let you guys know and talk a little bit about the uh, mid-generation refreshes. I would personally go with the PlayStation 4 Pro probably more than the Xbox One X, mostly because it is a 4K console. And it's a hundred dollars cheaper than the Xbox One X, and the games of your old games like this one will be higher than 1080p, while the Xbox One X will be only at standard 1080p. So, yeah, in my mind, I think the PS4 Pro is more worth it. But anyway, guys, that that solves it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could smack a like, and I hope to get at least 200 likes for the win and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can check out and help out the channel a lot and you guys can also check out on a lot of my previous videos I upload weekly to daily news about gaming and stuff and also don't forget to send me in the comment section if you're more excited for the Xbox One X or if you want to get the PlayStation 4 Pro if I helped out anything so so yeah, just give me your guys' thoughts in the comment section. So comment, subscribe, and hit a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. So peace. Yeah.